I know you are a big proponent of Phil Maffey Tone's uh, heart rate training zones. Um, this will be interesting. Um, Tiff and I have been married 32 years. I was doing Maffey Tone work before I married Tiff. That's how long I've been influenced by Phil Maffey Tone. I know since the book uh, Natural Born Heroes came out, where uh, McDougal went and, and found, I, I know that Maffey Tone has gotten to be very popular and deservedly so. Uh, he was most famous for his work with triathletes, but now he's become just, you know, uh, uh, very popular again. Uh, Maffey Tone's insight on food, uh, uh, you know, he does this two week uh, test where you, you drop out basically all simple carbs. That's only the beginning on his, on his nutrition work. His training insights are very good too. Um, everything about his original book from 86, 87, everybody's an athlete are still have held true through my entire career. I'm amazed how often I come back to his work and go, you knew this. Why did you fall away from it? Um, do you recommend staying within the MAF, MAF zone, the Maffetone zone, while doing park bench workouts? You know what? That'd be a great way to do it. So the Maffetone numbers of this, folks, just so everybody knows, there is no science behind the 220 minus age number. That was, I believe, if and I think I'm right on this, that was the inventor of the universal, um, the inventor of the uni universal gyms. Uh, use that number for his wall charts, and that's just where the number came from. I like Maffey Tone's numbers better. Basically, there's two numbers. So you take 180 and you minus your age, and that is the top end of where you want your heart rate and workout, most workouts. And then you take 160 minus your age, and that's where you want to get going again. So if you're, um, and it's interesting because we've just posted an article on this, um, in Dan John workouts where we give you these numbers. So it's very simple. I mean, if you're 40 years old, 180 minus uh, 40 is 140. So you want your workout, your heart rate beepers between uh, 120 and 140. And if you go over 140, ease up. If you go under 120, get back going again. Uh, it's interesting now. Uh, my numbers are 118 and 98. So I can set my heart rate. Uh, uh, I have a heart rate that ties into my iPhone and I have two beepers on this. And I got to tell you from the heart folks, it is a little sad when you have to adjust that every year. Um, and I can work out between those two beepers. Uh, for me to get my heart rate over 118, is quite easy uh, for me to, you know, so those, those, those beeps seem to be a little different. Yes, you can. So to get to the answer, you can very much do the heart rate monitor doing the park bench workouts. One of the things you're going to find, though, when you get to the strength part of those workouts, you probably won't find your heart rate. A set of eight with a goblet squat might not drive that heart rate over the target number at all. Um, and then, it, but Jim, if, if, I, if don't mind me walking with you, you might want to measure how quick that number comes down to that 160 minus your age number to get back going. Um, you might find you might not be, A, resting enough, which is very common, or you're resting way too much. So the only issue with that is you do have to have a heart rate monitor on, and I know there's so many more options now. It's much better than it used to be. When I first used heart rate monitors back in the, uh, it had been late 80s, early 90s, they were well into the $400. They were very expensive. And uh, they were very cumbersome, uh, and they had a wire that gave you the number. So you had this thing on your chest, and then a wire down to your wrist, and then this massive uh, wristwatch. So you couldn't use kettlebell because it would break the wristwatch. Uh, you were constantly getting bundled up. So it was, but now you guys have so many more options. Uh, I mean, it's it's stunning. I still don't like the watch ones. Uh, um, I don't, when, when I lift weights, I don't think you should have rings on at all in case you, if, if you hurt that finger with a ring on, you have to go to the emergency room and get that thing cut off uh, immediately. Um, I'm, I don't like watches on wrists while we're training because stuff will hit and break that very expensive watch. This is a good question. Um, this, this is the kind of thing, Jim, that really kind of opens my thinking up too. And it would be an interesting thing for, now we would need some people to help us 
but to get some feedback on this idea of using a heart rate monitor doing the park bench workouts.